Uh, talking of something or somebody that knows what he's doing, the Louisiana Rage and Cajuns with head coach Billy Napier. Well, yeah, this outside of Jamie Twelwell, this is this yes. is our favorite coach in the conference. Better believe that returning production is number three in the country. Ninety five percent returning production. That is crazy. Yeah, crazy. Uh, they got twenty one starters back, and it's one of the best run games in the country. Now they lost both of their running backs. But the two guys that are coming in behind Man, them, I'm not worried about that. They, they just look gonna, just as good. They're just going to replace as good. them. Uh, so their secondary dominated every single receiver that they went up against last year. Like this was a fantastic team. Remember, this team beat up on Iowa State. I was say, this is a team that went into yes. Ames, yes, and beat up physically, beat up and never trailed in that game. They dominated the football game from start to finish against the second best team in, in the, the Big, Big 12. Twelve. Yes. That's yes, insane. A team that finished ranked in the top 10 last year. That's insane. Uh, 30-year-old defensive coordinator Patrick Tony uh, returns all defensive starters after the D improved from 66th to 40th in efficiency in his first season. Their only losses were the running backs, like I said, Mitchell and Regis. Uh, the backups look great in 2020. Their first game against Texas, and that is going to be interesting. Now, the win total, nine and a half. And here is the difference between the two projected records. SP Plus has them at 10 and 2. FPI has them at 7 and 5. That's insane. I can't explain that. It, some of the FBI numbers I have. I can't, have no I can't idea. explain that. How do you get there? Uh, you, How do you get you five go, losses on this for a team that kicked the shit out of everybody but Coastal last year? Well, here's the here's the issue. They didn't actually kick the shit out of everybody. No, but they, they, they won, won a lot of games. close games. No. But they don't lose close games, Gary. That's, you're 100% they right. They lost to Coastal in a close game. That's it. Yeah. And they, they didn't. They didn't lose to anybody else in close games. No, they they actually didn't lose a single other game. They went ten and well, one no, last they year. They went ten and one. They yeah. they lost to Coastal in a really close game. Yeah, they were this close to finishing eleven and zero. Eleven and three in twenty nineteen. <laughs> Defensive returning production is number one in the country. They bring back ninety eight percent of their production. Number six on offense. They bring back ninety three percent of their production on that side. Uh, the schedule sets up nice. Outside of the Texas game, you know they play Ohio. But I think they're going to win that game at Georgia Southern. You know, at, the, the Liberty game at yeah. the end of the schedule is going to be. That's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be, going to be an game. incredible game. I really think it's going to be an incredible game. I'm going over the nine and a half. Okay. Even if they lose to Liberty, I think they could win every single game on the schedule outside of of. It. I, I even think that they can beat Liberty. Right. But yeah. how many how many games they play? They play twelve. I think they win them all. You think they win them all? Yeah, I do. I think they go into the you Big think Twelve. We could have. I think they go into the Big Twelve, and I think they kick the shit. No, I, mean, I, the shit. I think they beat Texas. I think Texas is going through a lot of turmoil and there's a lot of chaos. And if they are undefeated against Liberty at the end, they're not losing that game. I think you're right. They're not losing that game if they're undefeated. Now, if they've got two now, losses by that time, anything can happen. On. Hold on. I Let like me. this coach. I like this team. I think you're going to get twelve and zero against twelve and zero in the conference. That's and what I, was I can't at. not say that. Cats out of the bag because both of them, I think, are going 12 and 0. I think they're that good. <laughs> I think this I could be it. the fourth best conference in football with their top two guys. I think so as well. I do think so. I, I think I think more likely they go 10 and 2. Well, yeah, obviously do, that's more likely, but, but I do like the 12 and 0. Do you it sounds fun? Do you I'm gonna tell you this. I will have a money line play that Texas Saturday. I can get down with it. I will have a money line play on that Texas. Because chaos, they they go into the Big 12 and they think we belong here. Yes. Listen, we're right down the road. We're just across the state line, and we absolutely are not afraid of you. I like we it. We went into the Big 12 last year and kicked the crap out of a team. We're not afraid to come in here and do this again. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.